I demand to see my client. You can see him, but I'm not letting him go, because in five minutes, I'm going to come back to him with a sledgehammer. Not so fast. I demand to see my client, and my client isn't Mike Ross. It's Harold Gunderson. And you are? Louis Litt, Pearson Spector. You're telling me that a man who works at the law firm he's accused of colluding with just happens to be his attorney. That's exactly what I'm saying. Bullshit. No. What's bullshit is you thinking it's up to you who gets to represent Harold Gunderson. So if I walk in there right now and ask him who his attorney is, he's going to say it to you? It doesn't matter what he says. It's 4.07. And if you don't let me see my client, anything he says after this second will be inadmissible. And I will rain down Fourth Amendment claims on you for the rest of your goddamn life. If you wanted some me time, all you had to do was ask. You better have some good news for me, otherwise I'm going to be having plenty of me time. Harvey, this Woodall guy is serious. I'm serious, too. Then why am I still in here? Because we're waiting for Lewis. Lewis? To do what? Convince Harold not to talk. Holy shit, Lewis is in with Harold? Harold hates Lewis. It's our best shot. So what do we do now? We wait. Lewis, what are you doing here? First off, how you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I'm in the seventh circle of hell. Well, the cavalry has arrived. I don't need the cavalry. I've decided to get out. OK, Harold, you cannot sign a deal. You'll never work as a lawyer again. What do you care? You fired me as a lawyer. Now all of a sudden you're my best friend when you need something from me? Go to hell, Lewis! Okay. You know what? You're right. I'm not your friend. Never was. But the one thing I've never done is lie to you. Now, you have a chance to walk out of here today as if none of this has ever happened. And all you have to do is trust me. You have no idea who that man is. No idea? How do you think I got in the room? OK. You know, Lewis, I am glad you got to take a good look at it. Because if I don't give them Mike, I could be in here for the rest of my life. Lawyers don't get paid to look out the window. I can't concentrate either. I just wish there was something we could do. Rachel, if this thing moves forward to trial, I will do everything in my power to win. But there's two minutes left in the game, and our star players are on the field. So right now, we just have to have faith. We? We. You're going to work here. We're going to be family. The way to get to know your family is by being with them when their loved ones are in trouble. How long do we wait? As long as it takes. I want to talk to you about my defense strategy. This is your defense strategy. If this doesn't work, you're going to want to talk to a different lawyer than me. Harvey, I don't care what Harold gives them on me. I'm not giving them you. I want to tell you a story. I don't want to hear a story. It's about the time I decided to tell my dad about my mom. You remember what I told you about her? Harvey. I was 20, out of the house. And I told her I would never tell him as long as she never brought anyone. I came home to do laundry one day, and I heard I heard, and then I saw, and I told him that night. Because sometimes it's better to tell. She deserved that. So do I. This whole thing was my idea. I gave the go ahead. It's me what I want. Well, he's not getting you. Yes, no. He is. I don't care what happens in that room. I'm not giving you don't up. Don't be a fool. Don't be an asshole. Listen to me, goddammit. I'm giving you permission. I don't give a shit what you're giving me. I hired a fraud. And then we crossed the line with Clifford Danner. Then with Lola Jensen. And then with these witnesses. And to top it all off, we suborned perjury with Edward Darby. 
If it comes to it, you point the finger at me. You got that? Let's just hope it doesn't come to it. It's over. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Mike, how's it going? 